Hey everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls 3! Last time we descended into Shrek's swamp and discovered his true identity, the Crystal Sage. He's actually a sorcerer with an over-the-top witch costume. That's official Dark Souls lore, you can quote me on that. This time we're getting started right away because the area ahead of us is quite huge, so up this path we go to a dead end. I don't know why this is here. I think it's meant to be used during the boss or something, but anyway, the actual path is over here. So as I mentioned last time, this is actually a split-off, sort of semi-optional path you can take. And it takes us to this big building that we've seen since the Undead Settlement. Also, there's a Crystal Lizard. I think I care about that more than I do about the building right now, so let's go after this. Please, get, get to it, get to it, get to it, get to it, get to it. No, 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 no. Oh my god, you take so many hits. Come, come here, come here, come here. There we go. Twinkling Titanite. I love to see it, because that's what's used to upgrade this sword. This amazing thing. Oh, there's another one right here, just chilling. Okay, two-handing is so much more effective. What do you drop? Another Twinkling Titanite. Great. Okay, so this part... This part can be tricky. We have an evangelist down there, as you can see, and we also have one of the big guys with saws from the Undead Settlement. Walking around. I actually don't quite know where he is, but I think the best way to approach is from here. Yes. Uh, do we have two of them? I thought I remember there being two of them. I only see this one. Oh, yeah, there's two of them. I hear the other one. Uh oh. Uh, hit it. God, okay. I'm trying to stagger him. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, didn't work. Tried to dodge through. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> so ordinarily, you wouldn't think that dodging through attacks is a good idea, but because dodging gives you invincibility frames, it can really help sometimes, and it leaves you close enough to be able to retaliate with your own attack. So it's actually a good idea to dodge, try to dodge, like, towards their attacks. If you time it right, you'll go right through them, and you'll be ready to hit them afterwards. Oh my god. This was not part of the plan. Uh, okay, good. It's just this open path. Let's drink. And... Kill. There we go. Frostbite helped tremendously. That was what the bursts of extra damage were. And the Evangelist just spaced out through all of it. Let's go uh, take her on. I think the best route, uh, best way to do this is to come in from behind her. We can even snag this item. The Herald set, which is what the Herald class starts with. And Joe, I didn't think you'd hear me wind up my sword. Well, I, I, I jumped off of the thing, I walked up behind you, and you just sit there not hearing anything. And then as soon as I wind up my sword, you're like, what was that? It's okay, it's okay. Because, oh, maybe it's not okay. It's, it is. Oh my god, my Estus is not. All right. Gonna dodge this, land the final hit. And then, I'm gonna share a little piece of information about you that is quite important. First, I'm gonna scan back through this area, see if there's anything I missed. That... I did not show it off very well. Here, hold on. Right across this bridge... There is a bonfire. Very close to the Crystal Sage bonfire. Not quite sure what the point is, but I'm okay with it since it allows me to properly demonstrate what I'm talking about here. Let's rest, refill the flasks, and then if you press the uh, use button again while you're in the drinking animation, shortly after that, you can drink it a second time really quickly. That is very good to know if what you can heal doesn't fill like any of your health bar and you need to drink two. You can drink two like that, and it's much quicker than having to restart the animation from the beginning. So over here, up that path somewhere, I think right in front of the door there's an NPC. But there is another NPC down here. If you get into battle with them, this guy will take notice. So I recommend coming down this pathway to take care of this one first, so you can fight them one-on-one. -on -one. NPC battles can be kind of tough, because they have the same moveset as you, they can dodge your attacks, and they have way more health than you. It's- oh god, oh god, oh god. They even have Estus, but the thing with them is that they don't have nearly as many flasks as you do. Okay. They also actually use weapon arts, or the- the skills. 
Skills are sometimes called weapon arts, so uh, if you're not used to... Oh my god. If you're not used to using we uh, skills yourself, that might be something tough. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus. I cannot commentate while fighting a Dark Souls enemy. <laughs> As uh, every video of this series so far has proven. Oh god. I uh, might want to heal. He's guarding. I'm worried he's gonna parry me. Can he, par can he parry with a weapon, though? Uh, there's some weapons that can, I think. Oh my god. Let's try something different. Let's try this club. I'll fuck your dodges. He's probably saying the same thing about me, though, to be fair. Oh! I knocked it away! Oh! No, 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 no. Taking a risk, taking a risk! He doesn't deal very much damage, so the risk is worth it. Oh, stop with your knives! Oh, fuck off. I don't know why, but it really seems like Dark Souls enemies love stalling out the last hit as much as they possibly can. I mean, anyone ever get that feeling like the enemy is one hit away, and then for some reason now they're the, like the hardest thing in the world? You can never land a single hit. For that, we got Paladin's Ashes going over here in the corner. Umbral Ash of a worn out paladin who sought the Cathedral of the Deep. With this, the Shrine Hand may will prepare new items. Cool. Now up ahead, I'm gonna fight this guy with the axe. May not be the best idea with one Estus Flask, but we'll see. Oh, you have throwing knives too. It's all it's okay. I've taken like six of those. I should be more resistant to them naturally by now. That's how health systems work in video games, right? You get the more you get hit by something, the less effective it is. <laughs> That's definitely how things work. In, <laughs> even in real life. Okay. Um, this is actually going really well. Hold on. I don't want to. What are you doing? What was that? That's some Elden Ring delayed shit. <laughs> he just did. He delayed that attack for forever. <laughs> All right. That's that's War Cry. That's the axe's um, skill, if I had to assume. Nice job. And... <laughs> wow. Wow. First NPC was a real pain. You? Not as much. Spider shield. Shields of this style are commonly used by savage mountain bandits and offer high resistance to poison. Interesting. I, poison attacks? I can't imagine if you walked through poison water with that thing that it would be that effective. All NPC battles... I'm pretty sure, with maybe a couple minor exceptions, are always permanent kills. So I can rest at that bonfire, and they are not back. Very nice. Now let me see. There is more around here. I'm going to pull out the torch. We are in a pretty dark part of a forest here. Plant. Path. This is the only path from here. I'm pretty sure it is. And crest shield. Okay, I'm not that exciting. A knight's shield engraved with a crest. This is probably a starting item. Greatly reduces dark damage, so it it, it is 100 physical guard, but it also does uh, have a, a lot of protection against dark. Dark damage. Type we haven't really seen yet. I'm not sure what exactly inflicts dark damage. And nothing ever tells you. You're just kind of supposed to guess. I mean, it's safe to say stuff like soul arrows or other magic projectiles are magic damage, and being hit by a lightning bolt is lightning damage, being hit by anything fiery is fire damage. Dark damage, though, I'm not sure what what really count, count, counts for that. I mean, like, there might be a dark purple effect over the attack, but... Or if the attack looks like it was spawned from the void, then maybe. That... Do fight with that dog went surprisingly well. Okay, so we have a couple, few dogs and a few archers here. I'm gonna go take care of this archer. I'm being shot at. Yep. I'm also being... Freaking... It also sometimes feels like enemies know exactly when to hit you so that they can stop your attack just in time. But that's usually just getting unlucky. Oh my god. Why didn't I do as much damage that time? Oh my god. Uh, I'm running away. Okay, heal now. There we go. Yeah, I've gotten better at dogs. I, I got their patterns down. Although, I was playing Elden Ring in between uh, this and last episode, and the dogs there were much tougher. Like, the dogs was the first enemy I fought in my session, and then I died to it. Because apparently, like, the dogs in that game behave very slightly differently. 
despite them being mostly reskins. Now, that is something to know. Some of the enemies in this game, if, if you played Elden Ring, some of the enemies in this game will look a little familiar, not just because they are very sim- Do Am I being attacked by two dogs right now? Alright, um, or did this dog teleport back- I think this dog may have teleported in front of me. Yeah, it did. Um, interesting. So, dogs have a weird bug in this game where they teleport. I haven't noticed it that much, but they can do it. It's kind of weird. And uh, it was there since launch and hasn't been fixed. It's okay that it hasn't been fixed. It's, it's not that big a deal, but still. <laughs> it's just, it's something strange. Look out for it in these videos. Uh, anyway, yeah, if you played Elden Ring, some of these enemies might look familiar. The dogs are literally just reskinned Dark Souls 3 dogs. The hat guys are also in that game. They're the imps in the catacombs. And I think at least, like, some of the attack patterns of the basic hollows have been copy-pasted into the soldiers of Godric or whatever. Over here, we have you. He, I mean, he did just want to give us a warm hug, but something tells me his hug was a little, he was a little too excited about it, so I, I declined the offer, politely. Cathedral of the Deep. This is a big area. We're probably going to be here for quite a while. Let's start by heading into this this room over here. How many times does this animation play throughout this game? I'm actually curious. There is yet another bonfire. I mean, I'm okay with that since going through that room of dogs and stuff would be annoying every single time you die. But yeah, three bonfires really close to each other. I feel like you could have gotten rid of the Crystal Sage bonfire. I don't think it was really needed. Merciful goddess, mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. <gasps> If you don't mind, buddy, I'm gonna light this and move on. Uh, you seem to be in a trance of some kind. I'll just leave you to it for now. This door is locked. Does not open from this side. And same deal with this other door over here. Does not open from this side. Refill my stuff. Might as well. Since I do not plan on going back to the previous areas. And then let's switch your armor. Let's see what we got. If you don't really care about the armor stats and just want to pick it based on appearance, which is probably what I'm going to do throughout this series, to be honest, you can click in the right stick on this menu to... Th there, to hide all that. So, oh, it, ju it compares it to the, to the previous one. Those numbers on the left there weren't there before. Okay, interesting. But you can also remove it to show yourself. So let's see. Oh, yeah, the Fallen Knight armor looks neat. It's like a dark robe. I have so I have so many deserter trousers. Let's go with the Fallen Knight set. Uh, I do want to turn this back on though. There we go. So onward we go. These guys are not hostile by default. However, they are in the way of this item. Unless I can somehow squeeze past them. Nah, I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna have to kill them. It's okay though, cause they're just basic hollows. They're no threat. Actually, they kind of are. Uh, those are flaming swords, and they have quite a bit of health. So, uh, maybe they are. Oh, that one's wanting to give me a hug. No thanks. Oh god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, the one from down the stairs also aggroed and came up here, to be clear. And this is an Estus Shard, right away. So, that's cool. I mean, you could have missed the Estus Shard from High Wall of Lothric, or even the one from Undead Settlement, so it's good that we have this one here. Um, oh yes, okay, so this place starts off with a graveyard full of all these guys. These guys are just, out, are just reanimated corpses that endlessly respawn no matter how many times you kill them. So if I, if I kill this guy, I'm gonna bludgeon him to death. Oh wow, it takes only two hits with this. Oh god, oh god, oh god. 
Oh, they also vomit. Yeah, more just crawl up out of the ground as you go, so... It's not really worth wasting your time on killing them all the time, unless they're in your way like these guys are. Oh my god. They also don't attack you for very much damage, which is good, I guess, because there's a lot of them. Alright, there's just a couple items I want to get around here. There's this. A Sora Greatsword. Sir, I'm afraid there isn't a wall in front of you. Why are you making a wall impact noise every time you're banging your head? Was the enemy supposed to be placed right here? And he's actually there instead? Uh, let, here, here, just, just, just forget about that. This greatsword bestowed only upon elite knights is a relic of the ruined land of Astora. I don't know if, uh, they mentioned it, but that's actually where Anri is from. He's Anri of Astora. And we found the sword from his land. One of the swords from his land. Okay, you're a little bit closer... Still not quite there, though. Still still not quite, quite up against the wall. Something tells me this, this area went through some revisions and development, and they didn't fully... Like, the, the people who did the enemy placements and the people who did all the natural environment stuff didn't uh, fully communicate <laughs> with one another. That's just my assumption based on what I see. I've lost enough health to warrant an Estus. Let's uh, grab that Fading Soul. Executioner's Greatsword. There's also about 5 million guys in here. I'm just gonna leave. I'm glad I left, for the record. <laughs> I feel no remorse in not leaving that, gr that group. Especially if they're gonna have friggin' people coming out of their torso. No thanks. Alright, we're just gonna go past all these guys. Go past you. Uh, there might be some more stuff I'm missing. Oh, we have to... Oh, God! Okay, when they have the uh, little torso monster like this, they have more health, and they can um, leap at you and attack you a little faster. Once again, you're not up against a wall, buddy. I'm just... I'm gonna kill all of them that do that, because that that's, that's wrong. Okay, um... Uh-oh. Oh, hello, 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 hello. He okay, you're dead now. Thank you. It's got a weird little slug texture to it. And if we look down there, we can see a much bigger slug monster of the same type. Oh my god, let's go get the hell out of here. There's no items here. It's worthless. Not worth our time. Let's get back to land. Sir. Find a wall. Jesus. I mean, it it's kind of a cool, like... It could be a cool, like, mime trick. Like, a mime bangs his head against an invisible wall. I didn't even notice, but I have another flask now. I'm gonna let bleed take care of you. You guys are very susceptible to bleed. Over there's a Grave Warden. A kind of unique enemy, doesn't appear very often, and... Let's see. Okay, okay. Got through that. Got a lot of health. I might use... Whoa, 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 whoa. Might use, uh... Irithyll Straight Sword, unless I can get it with Bleed all the same. Doesn't deal a lot of damage. Okay, Bleed bleed took care of it. But Bleed was sort of close to taking care of me, although not really. If we jump down here, there's a white birch tree down here. I, at least I think that's supposed to be a birch tree. It, it's a white tree. A tree with a white base. And the arrows around us indicate that the giant from the Undead Settlement can actually reach over here. And if we take a peep over that forest there, there he is. If you haven't gotten the white, young white branch from him yet, he will shoot at you as well over here. And uh, that's what happened on my first playthrough. It was quite, uh, exploring this area was quite tough. However, he only shoots around the white birch tree once again. So only in this area. From this, we can collect some young white branches. And... Okay, there's you. I'm just gonna... Here. The poise damage from the club takes really good care of them. So I'm very glad that's happening. What's this? Undead Bone Shard! Hey, that's only our second one. So we found the Estus Shard and the Undead Bone Shard of this area. Already, and we haven't even explored the half of it. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore the rest of you guys. We took care of the Grave Warden. We took care of everything. Let's get... Okay, I thought you were gonna bang your head against the air next to the tree. 
let's get inside. Curse Ward Great Shield. Far too heavy for an ordinary person. Perhaps it signifies the foolishness of resisting the curse. And yet, those who bear the weight of the shield will not find its protections against curses wanting. Okay. Oh. Stone coffin in the way. Titanite shard. Good stuff. This almost looks like a doorway, but it's not. It's all bricked up. Okay, back inside we go. Let's pull out the torch. We have a area where we can kick a ladder down, which is actually a pretty classic type of shortcut from even from the first Dark Souls. Let's ride it all the way down. And, okay. I don't quite remember where this is. Oh, this is the lower area where th with the big slug beasts. Oh boy, I'm going to avoid fi- oh, okay, I guess we're doing this. Okay, oh, you want to avoid being hit by these guys because their- their attacks- Oh god, oh god. Inflict a special, like, status effect thing on you. And by status effect- okay. I guess I- I was gonna demonstrate it anyway, so being hit by it doesn't matter that much. They give you- are they- oh no, they- I didn't get them. Okay, well, they they can put leeches all over your body that slowly and in increase the bleed meter and constantly give you bleed. It'll trigger the big blood loss damage about three times before they go away. If that happens, you can use the blood red moss clump, which I'm going to actually equip to quick items. You can use the blood red moss clump to get rid of them. So that's very good to know. Uh, we've got we've got a mutant cri crystal lizard over there. And the item that was actually I could have seen from the from the room towards the cleansing chapel. That's what that room with the bonfire is called. It's just a titanite shard or two. I didn't actually see how many it was. Uh, you are actually completely harmless unless I go to attack you, which would be mean of me. I'm going to run up and kill your child, though. This is what happens when you leave your child unattended in the parking lot. Sorry, that was dark. Twinkling titanite. But, but yes, uh, to any parents watching, do do keep watch over your children. It's a good idea, just in general. Make sure that they're safe. You'll be a happy parent. All right, this way. Before we attack the Crystal Lizard... Oh, actually, I think I might want to go fight the Crystal Lizard now, because I think this is just... Oh, God. This just takes you back into the freaking river with all the slug beasts. That's what I'm going to call them. And... I might... I might just want to fight this Crystal Lizard first. These guys are giving so much Twinkling Titanite. At least I'm pretty sure that's what that one gave me. Again, I didn't pay much attention. It could have been a Titanite Shard. <laughs> Actually, no, I got the Titanite Shard from up there. Okay. I don't know if these things are resistant to bleed, so I think I'm just gonna go with Frost. Frost and bleed are the bo both the, uh, friggin... big damage status effects. Oh, no. Okay. There's two others besides that. There's Poison, which you could probably guess what Poison does. There's a slightly uh, stronger version of Poison called Toxic, which is just Poison but stronger. And then there's Curse, which we're actually about to see in this video. Much later on, though. Uh, you're gonna chomp to the side. Yes, you're super predictable, sir. Um, I feel like the club... The club would do, uh, do well against you. Let me switch. Oh, I can't switch while I'm healing. That makes sense. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, now I did. Wait, what? How, when did I switch? Okay. Yeah. Smack! Smack! I, I can't tell. Is this doing it any better? I, I don't know. Oh! It's really hard to tell that he was actually attacking. Alright, what, what you doing, sir? Okay. You gonna bite to the side? I... I didn't mean that side. Oh my god. Uh, you're inside the gravestones now. Why did I swing the other direction? My lock-on went away! Is he, like, stuck over there now? <laughs> oh my god, he might be stuck over here. Perfect game, 10 out of 10. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame, but hey, I, I can still hit him at least, so it's not completely broken. Oh my- my sword's, like, bouncing off of him. There we go. Thankfully, I can still get his item. Titanite scale, that's good. Alright. Let's head down to the river, rivery area. Oh, I have a lot of souls, actually. Can't tell what exactly gave me. I'll, I'll fight one of them. There is an, there is an item down here, and I'm not sure if I'm that interested in fighting all these guys, but... 
just to just to get that one item, but let's see. Oh, okay. These guys attack fast. They can be quite rough, especially because they give you that that bleed uh, special bleed status. Okay. Hey yeah, hey yeah, hey yeah. Yes. Okay, I think their grab attacks, attacks where they like grab onto you and bite you, might give that, but their regular slaps don't. Okay, well in that case, I'm just gonna go right up to you and get get hit. The best idea I know. I'm the best Dark Souls player. My plan is walk up to the enemy, get hit by it. That's what you should do. That's the secret to winning Dark Souls. Saint Tree Belvine. This is a sacred shrine that can cast miracles. Saint Tree Belvines are customary in the far north and allow for faster casting than ordinary sacred chimes. That's interesting. So sorceries are generally straightforward attacking spells, whereas miracles do all kinds of things. They, you know, knock enemies back, they heal you, they heal you and others nearby, they... Th there's a lot of stuff miracles do. Whereas sorceries, usually, like, most of the common sorceries are just a projectile, a bigger projectile, a projectile that waits and is delayed a bit, or make a giant sword out of magic and then attack with it. Which honestly sounds awesome. <laughs> if only I was that interested in using it. And then there's pyromancies, which just throw fire at people. I mean, it's hard to beat that. Come on. These pyromancies are kind of just sorceries that all involve fire. Instead of, um... Oh my god. I am not taking much damage from these guys at all. Wow. You know what? You know what? I think I have... Yeah, I have higher than average physical damage absorption. And I think that's why. Because, like, these guys are doing barely anything to me, and it's the Fallen Knight set that's helping. Poison Bite Ring. Increases poison resistance. So with this ring on, you'll take longer to get poison from from either enemy attacks or environmental things. Uh, you'll, you'll see what those environmental things are quite soon, I assure you. Not in this video, though, but quite soon. Okay, I think that's actually Ifer over here. Uh, the Saint Tree Belvine? Let me- let me check. Let me go back down to the river and check. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I almost forgot about this Executioner's Great Sword. Used for beheadings, contains a key memory of its Executioner's duty, and absorbs FP from each fallen foe. Okay, well, if you're into using magic stuff in addition to that, that's- that's a- might be a good sword to use. It is a great sword, though, and great swords do swing slightly slower. Oh, this is- this is the start of the river battle. I thought down there was explorable. That's why I was going back. My stamina bar looks so tiny compared to my health bar that I feel bad for it, so I'm putting two points in endurance. That's nice, dude. Let's roll through these chairs and get this item I missed earlier. It is a notched whip. Never intended for use in combat. Well, that sounds great. Uh, the cleansing chapel uses whips such as these in order to produce the drops and puddles to wipe clean during its rituals. They, they do that so that they can allow themselves to clean up. Sure, whatever whatever allows them to keep going on in life. This whip inflicts bleed, and it has the skill Impact. Strike from the left to evade shields and deal a stinging blow that temporarily slows stamina recovery. The shackles of bondage lie deep in the hearts of all human... Hum, humankind. I don't know. Was the other whip Warcry, or was that my <laughs> reinforced club? Okay, starting this route over once again. I'll actually leave these guys alive this time. There's a sort of shortcut we can take here, I do believe. We head to the right immediately after getting into here. Let's see, is there anything over here now? I think I've done everything in the graveyard. I hope so. What I want to do is from here, drop down. Oh. There's also this. I didn't see this. <laughs> okay. Um, drop down and you can go into the riverbed. Now you might have to deal with one of the slug beasts. Might, keyword is might, because I might be able to just get past this guy. Yeah, okay. And then you can go in here and climb the ladder. Now we can skip all the graveyard and crossing the bridge and all the torso monster guys. Here we are. The grave warden dude is still right there, but I think we'll wait for them to pass by. We don't have to fight them. As is the case for most enemies in this game. You really don't have to fight them. You're never forced to fight anything. Except bosses. <laughs> that, that, that's the exception. Bosses, you kind of have to. And, and I mean, there's many enemy encounters that you should fight them. Because otherwise, they're, they're really going to get in your way. They're going to make your life hell. They tried to hide this item behind these boxes. But I, I, I know how to break stuff, game. Rusted coins. We're surrounded by very snowy mountains. 
Does this game take place in the Himalayas? There's Undead Settlement over there. I love how Dark Souls 3 really allows you to look back to previous areas you've been to. See, that's the bridge. The bridge with the big wall there looks kind of weird. That's the bridge that we arrived into the Undead Settlement on back in Episode 2. Here's a big door. Can't open it. Does not open from this side. And there's a gargoyle angel thing that's regretting its life choices. Here's a door with a red bug pellet on the other side. Have we seen these yet? All right, we got a dude with the shield. And we also have an archer up there. Oh, and we have also have another guy behind me. All right. Um, wait, was that a? That's a freak! Oh my god. He used no. Okay. Hit you, and the other two are dead. The archer's okay. Okay, so that guy just used some gray mist on us that has prevented us from using our Estus flask. Mean dude. I don't know. I didn't have any better uh, things than that. I can take you out from range right here. How did that miss me? What the hell? Okay, it's usually best to wait for them to attack, but I cannot reach them with that. Okay, so I'll just give up and go down this route instead. Cross this roof here. Uh, we have any more guys over here? Yes, we have you. Get rid of you. There we go. 70 more souls for me. So we have an undead guy up here. Get rid of you. Oh, you're about to try and give me a hug. I could have waited. So there are a bunch of hat guys along this, along this roof area, which is something to keep in mind. I'm also being shot at, apparently. All right, just, just keep moving from side to side. Oh, the dude came down. Wait, I could go back and kill him then. I think I might, because he's right there. I mean, he just, he's asking for it. You're, you're freaking asking for it, dude. Thank you. Okay, um, around this place are all these little posts. I can't tell if they're supposed to be arrows or what they are, weapons of some kind. Oh God, we got more hack guys. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. I kind of want to use my pyromancies more, so I think I'm going to throw one at you. Let's make sure there's none around that corner. I want to check around every corner for enemies. Ow. Thanks, buddy. His sword inflicts bleed? I think that's the Zvehander or whatever that that one guy had in Undead Settlement. There we go. I don't know, I just find melee more fun in general. Are you going to wake up if I go for this item? N no, but the guys hanging over the edge sure will. Do they sleep there? <laughs> Do they sleep while grabbing onto the edge with dear life for dear life? You'd think they need it if they're waiting this long for me to come by. They would need sleep. Okay, we got two archers. Approach it can be difficult, but if you run, you should be able to dodge out of the way of most of it. I'm gonna come take care of you. Somehow didn't get hit. I have no idea. Do some freaking... Okay, the spear guy's gonna take his time. Let's go kill you. I wonder, do some frames of attacking animations... Do some attacking animations have invincibility frames? Because it feels like it. Oh, at least invincibility frames against arrows specifically, because it really feels like it. I don't know how to explain me avoiding some of these attacks otherwise. There's an evangelist over here. With some regular hollow flunkies. I want to target the flunkies, not the evangelist, with the, which the game really wants me to target. Seriously? Game? I am spamming the right stick right now. Target one of these guys, for love of God. Okay, fine. I guess that doesn't really count them as enemies yet. Then I'll... Then, I will force the game to count them as enemy. That was perfect. But hey, I, I did what I wanted to. I forced the game to count them as enemies. Oh God. I can't use Estus. Okay. Kill one of you. Kill one of you. The Evangelist is just gonna hang back and throw projectiles, so we want to avoid them, I believe. Wow, that was a very effective projectile you just threw. Thanks, Evangelist, for making this easy for me. Uh, I think I might Pyromancy. I'll Pyromance him. Okay, fine. Give me a hug. That's, that's perfectly okay, because you're not very good at that. And the effects wore off, and I can heal now. Yeah! Oh! I'm an idiot. I thought I was far enough away. Alright, get out of the way. Oh. I, I... 
<laughs> you try to do the same thing again because it worked the first time and then it, it didn't really work so well for you this time. Maybe because I learned how to avoid it. Okay, poise damaged you just in time and then you don't start the second swing. Okay. That's the randomness of Dark Souls. You'll see them do an attack and then follow it up with something shortly after, but then you'll sometimes see them do the same attack and not do follow up. That that's that's Dark Souls for you. Or from software games. Undead Hunter Charm. Used long ago by Lloyd's Cleric Knights on their undead hunts. Although all Father Lloyd is long forgotten by the way of white, his hunts have lived on, and this charm allows one to challenge undead without fear of tenacious healing. Blocks Estus recovery within a limited area. That is what the hollow guys were using on us. Something I really like about Dark Souls games, and Bloodborne and Elden Ring, etc. From soft games, is that a lot of the attacks you see enemies use, for the most part, you can use them yourself. I mean, you can't attack them in the exact same ways that they can. I mean, like, you can get these guys weapons, sure, but you can't attack with them, like, all crawling on the ground with, with those swings, like those guys. But you can at least get their weapons, or if they have a spell, you can get their spells. So, they're not limited to just them. Okay, here's one of the bigger guys. You didn't... Stagger what I thought you would! Ooh, okay, um, this could be a problem. I'm low on Estus. Okay, don't follow up, don't follow up. No! Yeah, one more hit, please. This thing has surprisingly long range. Okay, okay, I am officially out of Estus. And that's scary because this is a long route to our next, to our first shortcut. Oh god! <laughs> Oh my god. Nope, 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 nope. I didn't think they would just attack right away. Okay, I kind of want to use this. All reliable. All reliable, you're still straight sword. If it'll even help that much. Which, yes it will. It still kills them in two hits. Uh, even if it doesn't, it inflicts a lot of damage after enough hits. There we go. I hope that's all of them. I sincerely hope that's all of them. I think I hear another one breathing inside this room. This place loves the hat guys. Yep. Yep. Is that is that the only one? Tell me that's the only one. Oh, it's not the only one. <laughs> All right, fine then. Uh I can at least target you. Hold on. I'm going to throw it again. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, good. Your attack was very slow, sir. Hey, I got a flask! I was hoping that would happen. I wonder if the... When enemies fall on you, you can sometimes get stunned like that. It, it d thankfully doesn't do any damage. I wonder if the game increases the chance of you getting Estus if you're th if the lower you are on health, or the lower you are on the flasks. Uh, I think you guys... are just regular hollows. Are you? Yes. Okay. You're not the big ones, with the big spear attacks. Uh, who, who did that? You? Was it you? I don't have any Estus anyway, so it really doesn't help you, but... The, get out of here! Okay. I, I want to be real careful coming through here, because... We haven't gotten uh, back to the bonfire yet. And we got uh, quite a ways to go before we can do that, even. What's up here? I'm... I don't remember. Oh, it's just a way back over there with the, uh, in the path that leads down to the Evangelist. Interesting. Oh boy. Now, I think... If my memory serves correctly... I think there might be two of these guys here. Either way... Oh, okay. We uh, managed to pull this one away, and they do not aggro together, so that's nice. Oh, uh, yeah, whoa, whoa. Buddy, stop it! What are you, a late game enemy or something? No. It's, it's actually not that bad. You just back up. Okay. Now the other guy. Do zero throw straight sword on you, change things up. Let's also throw a fireball at you for fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'd go investigate that. Like, what was that? I like how they their first thought is to go where it exploded, because that's definitely where those things originate, usually. Holy. Okay. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, you have a Grave Warden robe. Yep, those are Grave Wardens. Cool. Uh, Grave Wardens at the Cathedral of Deep. They're tasked with disposing the ever rising corpses. <laughs> Yo, what? Okay, okay. It, it's just people that want to give me hugs. That's okay. Yo! Jesus, this area. I love it. it it's, it's really fun. Their clothes are utterly putrid, drenched in the blood and m mucilage of their undertaking. Is that like mucus? A form of mucus? Oh, that's interesting view. There's the Great Plateau up there, with the castle on top. Looks a lot more fancy than the Great Plateau from Breath of the Wild. Oh, it's also known as the High Wall, which is a lot less interesting sounding than the Great Plateau. It, but it's okay. Actually, I do like it. High Wall of Lothric. I don't know if... I, I've already said this, but I don't I don't know if up there is supposed to be Lothric only, or if this whole place is considered Lothric. Like... <laughs> I would continue this, but this gets into lore stuff we haven't seen yet. And so I'd rather save that for now. Okay, we can open this door, but there is also these guys over here. Thing is, though, I remember this. These guys aren't alone. They're joined by a big friend. So I think I might come back to this uh, later. Let's open these doors for now. And we are now inside the cathedral. Look at this place. Just look at it. It is... It is gorgeous. Including him, I guess. And maybe... Maybe not so much. But look at that chandelier. This place just gives serious Bloodborne vibes. And it looks like it's from Bloodborne, and it sounds like it's from Bloodborne, too. Alright. The only... one of the only enemies we have here are these slug things. And the weird thing... these guys are weird. They have a lot of defense. A lot of physical damage defense. So it will take you a lot of hits to kill them. However, if you use fire, they are very weak to fire. And it, it, it one-shot that guy. It probably won't two-shot the others, because I, I damaged that guy a little bit, but yeah. They stick to ceilings and can fall onto your head, so watch out for that. I hear spooky whispering. That's not terrifying at all. Mind if I pick up this item? Dual charm. Good thing he can't see from there for some reason. Temporarily disables special effects. Nulls effects of special area effects. Cool! <laughs> all Father Lloyd's knights lived in fear of his duels of judgment, and with verdicts were carried out by his sword of law. I might have to look up what this does. I... What are special area effects? Okay, so it gets rid of buffs that are applied to, I, I'm guessing, either enemies or players. Bit of a misleading description, but that's okay. I mean, the game doesn't want to call them buffs because that's not, that's very video gamey. There's a dude around the corner, keep in mind. Oh god, oh god, there's actually three of them, okay. They launch fireballs at you, and they have a pretty slow and weak magic, or melee attack if you get close. Uh, okay, good. Other than that, though, they're very easy enemies. No need to worry here. Despite how creepy they look. Deacon skirt. So they are, they are deacons. Worn by deacons at the Cathedral of the Deep, the space on top there is empty. Yep. <laughs> they accidentally hit enter one time. Worn on the inside of the deep red robe, they accidentally hit enter again there. In times those, those dedicated to sealing away the horrors of the deep succumb to their very power. Seems that neither tending the flame nor the faith could save them. This place is, uh, that's basically the lore of this place. People were so interested in the deep that they, uh, sacrificed their entire minds to it, and now they're crazy. That's, that's what I've gathered from this place. It's just horrible and terrible, and I hate it. That there is an elevator that allows us to open up this door from the other side. Which, in turn, allows us to see a new view of the surrounding environments. Hi, giant! Hey! Hey, buddy! It's me, your friend! I don't know if he sees me. Which, in turn, allows you to open up this door back into the cleansing chapel with the bonfire. 
Somehow I managed to make that whole trek without dying. I'm very surprised from that. I even did, like, most if not all of the optional stuff. I, I, I didn't do all of the optional stuff. I'm gonna go back to do one of the optional things right away. Uh, oh. This also gives you this kind of behind the scenes, scenes special view of... Of nothing. Okay, uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm thinking of a different place. Oh, it is so close to an instant kill, but it's just barely a two shot. Before I continue inside there, I want to come back out here. I'm guessing this is where the... Excuse me. Excuse me. Lay off, guys. Go friggin' advertise your products to someone else. I, I want to come out here and do this, because, um, I, I don't know what that item is. It's a small little item orb cloud thing, so it's probably nothing great, but you never know. I'm going to one-hand it, because one-handing actually allows me to swing slightly farther. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 god! Man, am I glad that I <laughs> waited to do this until now. Okay. Big man. Oh, he delayed. Oh god, okay. When dealing with multiple enemies, I should not lock on. <laughs> oh my god. The freaking big guys up in high wall Lothric were- I I'm just being an idiot, hang on. I gotta go kill everyone first. Don't drink, Est- I hate you, sir. I hate you and your jumping attacks. Okay, Spear Guy's not gonna do anything, so I think I can just... I could just do this. Alright. You wanna play this game? You wanna play this game, buddy? You're not- you're not- you're not the only one who can hide behind a shield for all eternity. Too scared to take the step forward and actually attack. And the duel is on! The Hollow takes a strike, but the Ashen One blocks it, taking a t only a tiny piece of fire damage and not retaliating, mimicking her enemy. The Ashen One takes an Estus, and the Hollow proceeds to do absolutely nothing about it. The Ashen One steps closer, readying the club. Only to be- only to block an attack from the Hollow instead, and thus hide behind her shield even more. They appear to be having a staring contest, which the Hollow has decided to give up on. The Ashen One gets a critical hit on the Hollow that has been doing absolutely nothing but standing still and cannot track the Ashen One to save his life. They continue the staring contest from where they left off. Neither one of them taking a step. Until the Ashen One strikes, and he blocks, but he only has one health left. The Ashen One blocks both of his attacks, taking no damage. The Ashen One blocks that attack yet again, and retaliates. The battle is concluded. What's over here? Ember. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I, we've been here for like four minutes, and it's just an ember. <laughs> you know what? I don't know if I've ever been down these stairs. So before I go back and refill my flasks, I'm gonna come down here. What's down here? What? Um, okay, this is not the same evangelist. This is a new- I- I have never actually gotten this item before. Alright, let me just take care of you. Hopefully I can do so well enough. Beep. Nice, okay, what is this? Deep gem. That's it, okay. Found in the dregs of the Cathedral of the Deep. Deep weapons inflict dark damage but lose scaling effects. Oh, I know that for a fact. What's el what else is out here? Um, the Void. Well, I can see why this place is called the Cathedral of the Deep. Hi? 
You, you, you want some then? <laughs> Can I help you? Alright, I went to go refill my flasks. And believe me, I had good reason to do so, because right here we are about to fight the giant in this room. The giant slave or whatever he is. Oh god. So, he'll try to smack you with both of his hands, and you can hit his hands in retaliation. You dodge just before he hits you with them. You should be fine, although there is somewhat of a shockwave with them. I believe what you just saw are his only two attacks. When he attacks with his, uh, his right hand, he'll attack twice. With his left hand, though, he'll just attack once. And then from here, we can slowly take him down. I think I might use the club. Let's see how effective the club is against him. Oh, that is super effective. Okay. He's weak to strike damage, clearly. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, I have enough time to heal, though. He's really slow. And second one, and no. Whoa, got hit by, like, a shockwave or something there. What are you doing here, sir? That's what you get. And he survives. Kind of a boring fight. It's very slow, takes forever. There's nothing else other than those two attacks, so I'll just skip to the end. Fortunately, he is a permanent kill. We do not have to worry about him ever again. So the name of Soldier, Lloyd's Sword Ring. We just heard about Lloyd in those friggin' descriptions of the, the hunter charms. Boost attacks when HP is full. Well, I don't know about you, but my health is never full, so this is not gonna help me. Much time has passed since the warship, the, the worship, sorry, of Lloyd was common in the way of white. The clerics in Car of Karim had always strongly asserted that Lloyd was a derivative fraud, and that the All Father title was self-proclaimed. Jeez, okay. Thanks for the gossip. <laughs> Item description. Exploding bolts. Those can be fired in crossbows, and I presume they explode. Speaking of crossbows, that guy's got one. He's annoying. But, I mean, we don't really have to worry too much about it. I'll just leave him to his devices, kill you, move on with my life. And not complain about him too much, because he's out of the way, and you could just go right into this hallway. Which is where he's supposed to go. We've got two ways to go. This way, we should go first. We're gonna drink. Hopefully, I'll get another Estes Flask at some point soon, but I think my luck may have ran out with that one I got. Okay, so there's hat guys climbing all over this. Oh. I I triggered them to spawn by going over here, apparently. Neat. Yeah! Good thing that knocked them back. Okay. I should not... I should not be locking on. Alright, <laughs> I was gonna say, are you gonna do anything about it? You know, if I walked up to him, he probably wouldn't have seen me at all. I, I probably should have done that. Over here is a very interesting item slash spell thing. It's being guarded by this guy, though. Let's take care of him. Yeah, nice job. Seek Guidance. This is a miracle with a very interesting effect. Displays more help from other worlds and reveals summon signs without using an ember. Faith serves as a guide for clerics, meaning they should have no need for secondhand wisdom. Be that as it may, this miracle has been passed down from soul to soul, providing a tiny ray of hope for the lost. Not only does this thing presumably show summon signs, I haven't used it yet, but it also shows special hidden messages, as in the same ones as the ones that gave us the controls back in Cemetery of Ash, or if you're playing online, the same ones left by other players, that give more hints on how to access certain secret mechanics, or cer certain secret things in the game world. Because of that, I, I'm going to use Seek Guidance to show those messages when the time comes, but for now, I'll just c carry with me. Um, Oh, I didn't realize that I was going to be fighting you up here. Uh, my, my mistake. Oh, God. Drink. Bad, bad time to drink. Bad, wow, to horrible time to drink. Okay, okay. You guys are very weak to frost. If I do remember, yep. Whoa. Yes, okay, oh my god, that was, that was bad, a bad showing. Evangelist robe! Hey, but I got an Estus flask back, let's drink that right away. 
These teachers, all women, came to enlighten inhabitants of the undead settlement and sent carriers on the path of sacrifice. So, there... The reason why the Road of Sacrifices is named as it is, is because it is a road leading to the cathedral, where these sacrifices are being taken. The reason why the evangelists of the Cathedral of the Deep, like the reason why evangelists were in the Undead Settlement, is because they are going to the Undead Settlement to bring, to collect sacrifices to bring back here. I think I want to go refresh my flasks real quick. Since a lot of those flasks were taken away from the, by the giant. There's all sorts of boxes over here, but I don't believe there's anything behind them. Nah, there's nothing there. Oh, I believe if you're running, you can do, like, a leap attack if you attack while running. You can at least do a running attack. Okay, like that, and then the strong. Yes, the strong attack is a... Ow. The strong attack is a jumping attack, which is pretty fun. Oh. What? What do you want? I don't have it. Go away. Okay. Let's head down here. And, ooh, we have a treasure chest. Let's see what's inside to greet us. Oh, no, it was a trap. <laughs> it just closes back. <laughs> okay, this is a mimic. And to be honest, it's probably my favorite representation or appearance of a mimic in anything ever. Because if we attack it before opening it, we reveal its true form and then it comes out to attack us. And look at this thing. It looks so silly and I love it. Oh my god. And listen to its freaking oh god. Listen to its freaking giggling. Oh my god. <laughs> I just love that. It's like it's so happy that it tricked you or something. Or that it's that it's attacking you right now. Its attacks are pretty simple, although they do it does deal quite a lot of damage. So still watch out. Its attacks are pretty simple otherwise, so that's about it. I think I'm gonna die at some point soon. You know what? We're not going back to the bonfire after this. I'm just gonna take the death. Deep Braille Divine Tome was supposed to be inside that chest. Belonging to the deacons of the cathedral, give this to a storyteller to learn miracles of the deep. Intended to teach divine protection to the deacons of the deep, but later dark tales were added to its pages, such that it is now considered a thing profane. Hmm, do we really want to learn those stories? Do we really want to know what stories these people were, listen were reading to each other as before bed? Probably not. It's probably for the best that we don't. Coming through this doorway is a powerful dude. This is a cathedral knight, and they have quite the prowess. I'm, j I'm gonna let him come over here so I don't trigger any of the other hack guys. I want to fight him over here, away from the hack guys, because this guy might very well kill me. No, 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 you're, you're coming over here. Come, come over here. Come over here. Yeah, there we go. He put something on himself. I think it's poise protection or something. Uh, that did 28 da damage. That did 41. Okay. Now he's added something special to his weapon. If he uh, strikes this weapon on the ground while it's like that, uh, I'm just going to hit his shield. Okay. Shield bastard attacks are really quick, so watch out for that. He'll create like a small little proximity mine that eventually explodes. He's not doing it, though, for some reason. He's really just turtling behind his shield. Okay, then. You don't even have a spear. That's not your thing, buddy. That's probably the easiest fight I've had with one of those guys in my entire Dark Souls 3 experience. They drop embers, so embers are not non-renewable. I once thought they were, but they're actually not. They do drop from enemies, so you can farm them if you really want to. I wouldn't recommend it that much, since it's, you know, farming things, it's boring, for the most part you can avoid it. But the option is there, if you'd like. So, in this room, got an item over there. And suspiciously, nothing that visible! <laughs> oh my god, he hangs out like right above you, just out of the camera's view. This thing, I don't know what it's called, it's an abomination, and it needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. Oh god, ooh! Oh, that might be Curse Breath. Okay. We can kind of cheese this guy in this doorway here. He can't fit through, so we can just attack him and avoid his attacks, and he can't do anything. This is a good time to mention, though, that you are playing at a bit of a disadvantage against enemies in this game. Oh, I can get a critical hit. No, I can't. Do Enemies are able to attack you through walls for whatever reason, but you are not. It's a little unfair, but thankfully it never comes up that much. 
Oh god. So curse. If the curse meter fills too full, that's what the little skull meter is down there. If that fills too full, we will be in instantly killed and turned to stone. I don't think anything changes with like where we drop our souls. We drop our souls in just as normal, so that doesn't change at least. But yes, it's an instant death, so not ideal. Um, get the get your curse breath out of here already, Jesus hell. Not very much health, honestly. I did cheese him, I will admit, but I got one flask left. I don't want to. I don't want to take risks, okay? And the cheese is right there, super easy to do, so just do it. He drops Aldrich's Sapphire. Recovers FP from critical attacks. It's left by Aldrich, Saint of the Deep. Aldrich, infamous for his appetite for flesh, apparently had the desire to share with others his joy of imbibing the final shudders of life while luxuriating in his victim's screams. I don't even have a reaction for that. I, that's quite a lot of information that you can get out of some ring that was inside a beast. I, I don't know what the story behind the beast guy is. That's like... Is that someone who got corrupted into that form or something? Aren't you supposed to... You know... I thought there was supposed to be an invader here. An NP... There he is. <laughs> okay, um... Invaded by Dark Spirit, Long Finger Kirk. For the record, I hate your name, sir, wherever you are. I think he comes out of either... That doorway, or that way? Let's see him. This is a character from Dark Souls 1, I'm pretty sure, and he wears a set of spiky thorns armor that I think makes it so even if you so much as touch him. Um, there he is. Yeah, there he is. He's got a spiky shield. If you so much as touch him, he, um, he hurts you. Let's see. Attacking him does not, which makes sense because you're not using your hands to attack him. He's also part of Rosaria's Fingers. Uh, did... I don't know if you've had that dialogue with him yet. Okay. Nice one! That was a lot of damage you just did, though. I'll, I'll point that out. You you did a lot of damage to me. Not sure if you noticed. You are uh, weak to frost. That's good. Oh my god. Okay. I'm probably gonna lose to this guy, which is okay. Oh god. Someone just touching him. It only deals a little bit of damage. Oh, I should be careful with that, actually. He might also parry you with that shield. That shield looks like a good parrying shield. Alright. Whenever he seems to, like, pause and not attack for a while, that's when I usually take my chances. Oh, God. Come on. Don't block, don't block, don't block, don't block, don't block. Oh, come on. Yes! God, that would have been annoying. We got the barbed straight sword and the spiked shield for that. Infamous Knight of Thorns. Okay, heavy bleeding. Yep, yep, got that. Um, the shield is probably going to say the same thing. Yep, yep, there's <laughs> there's nothing, <laughs> nothing that much to Kirk, at least in this game. Okay, there are a few more hat guys here, but I think I want to take chance to run across this way first. There is a cathedral knight kind of blocking me on my way out, though. Um, oh no. Oh no. No! <laughs> Thankfully, you died to it. Same as normal. Oh my god! What?! I got three! Okay, never mind. We don't have to do that. <laughs> How'd I get three? <laughs> I didn't even know it could be more than one. What the, what the heck? Okay. So now inside this large flat room proper, I believe if you didn't kill the giant until now, the giant would be uh, be able to attack you out in that area of toxic sludge. Although it's not that toxic. Okay. Do your little jump attack. I'll retaliate with two attacks of my own. That statue emits a cloud of poison gas. Ooh, that's a lot of poison. Yeah, uh, I don't want that. Oh god. Hello. Great job. Okay, this is an annoying pool of sludge that just does nothing but slow you down. 
So, uh, channel your inner Ocarina of Time and spam the roll button to get where you need to go. Such as over here to this soul of a nameless soldier. Uh, we might be being shot at from up there by the archer if he's still alive. Which I th he is on this run. He is still alive. Maiden set. I th oh, that's what, uh, that's what Irina wears. I mean, I'm gonna open this big set of doors, get inside here, and then we'll look at it. Now I'm all shiny and muddy. One of those things is good. The other thing... Eh, it depends on who you are. Worn by, worn by traveling maidens. It's soft and well-made, but ill-suited for battle. Check the stats. <laughs> it says that, but against non-physical damage, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Take it to a sorcerer fight, maybe not a melee fight. But also, take it to a melee fight if you want. Who cares? Saint Bedent. I believe this is a... Is this a catalyst? No, it's a it's a spear. Decorated by holy symbol, formerly wielded by Saint Klimt. He discarded this weapon that draws upon one faith, one's faith on the day that he put his own faith behind him. Skills charge, hold spirit, waste, and charge your foe. Use strong attack while charging to extend the length of the charge. Cool. Oh, that's what- that's those stupid thing that these spear enemies do, where they point the spear forward, and then if the spear touches you, you take like 700 damage every half second. You can do the same thing to them, and guess what? It won't be as effective, because your health bar is way smaller than the enemies. There's a lot of player discrimination in this game. Look at this place. Aside from the fact that we are currently, like, wandering through sewage, it looks freaking beautiful. And there's actually, like, three or even four chandeliers when there looked like there was only one at first. Oh, you know what? I need to be careful where this Cathedral Knight over here is, because if the Cathedral Knight sees you and follows you out here, he can walk just fine through the sludge, but you can't. Once again, player discrimination in this game. Oh, God. For the most part, enemies kind of follow the same rules as you. They have to commit to their attacks just as much as you have to commit to yours. But there are some ways that they cheat. And that can feel kind of annoying at times. Before I take care of any of these enemies, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna kill this one hack guy that decided to follow me all the way here. And then I'm gonna keep going down this hallway. Because... We've unlocked yet another jail cell door that gives us a view of this slug monster down here with the poison bite ring. And this takes us right on over back to the... Alright, oh, okay, we, we won't be doing that quite yet. Right back to the Cleansing Chapel Bonfire. Allow me to rest. So we've now unlocked two shortcuts. And we've basically unlocked uh, all the ways into the cathedral that we can. We can also open these doors. I think this takes us to an elevator that goes somewhere pretty special. But I'm going to wait to take it for right now. I'm going to go back inside and see if there's anything else I can do first. No need to yell in my ear like that. My god. Okay, and yes, there very much is something I can do first. It's kill you, specifically. Uh, those guys I can leave alive. I don't really care. They're over there minding their own business. I got the item that they were guarding. No reason to go over there anymore. And that is another giant. This one, I tend to ignore. There's no real easy way to kill it, and I've said with the first giant, but I'll say it again, I don't really like fighting them that much. They're so slow and boring, they have so much health that it just becomes boring. So instead, I'll pull this lever. Look at that golden handle. They're like, ooh, this is a fancy lever because one-eighth of it is gold. Huh. That's interesting. It looks like it might be used as a bridge, but there's really no passageways up there that we can see. But there are other indents in the ground throughout this room, such as here. And these could possibly be used for something. This looks like a pressure plate, but it's not. Okay, so this is a corner with this big guy, surrounded by all these little slug guys that are weak to fire. And that that's about all they have to them, is that they're weak to fire. The slugs can, uh, like, jut out weapons from themselves to attack you. It's actually a pretty funny attack animation. They're like a pile of sludge and garbage that manages to poke out weapons at you. 
I'll see if I can show it, but they, these guys are used fairly often throughout the game, so it shouldn't be a uh, big hassle to show them, show their attacks. Okay, by stepping into the toxic pool, you will awaken the giant, and he will start attacking you, because this is his territory, and you are intruding upon his nap. Oh yeah, okay, he'll also throw the water at you. I think if you go far enough away, he'll just go back to nap. Wanna say? Or he'll contemplate life. Yeah, he'll contemplate life, but either way, I want to go through here, go through here. Unfortunately, I can't really stealth around this guy because he just knows that you're here. This is the, uh, this place has the Drang armor set. I'm going to watch out for his attack. I tried, but I was picking up an item, and the game considers that to be more important than dodging. I actually dodged that one. Surprising. Uh, dodge underneath him. There we go. Oh, managed to avoid it. Out. That's a slug. S slime. Why did I call them slugs? Have I been calling them slugs this whole time? I didn't mean that. Uh, that that's offensive. I, I'm aware. Uh, pale tongue. Yeah, wh what a great item. Large soul of an unknown traveler. Let's get up these stairs. What the hell are you? Okay, if anything's a slug here, it's you. I am so thankful for my health. Oh my god. There we go. Drink that, Estus. There we go. Bye-bye. I don't... I, I don't want to kill him. Up here. We have a cathedral knight with a great sword. Which is just fun. In the meantime, though, I do kind of want to check out the armor we got. That's not it. Drang armor. Armor from the Drang Knights proclaimed descendants from the land known for the legend of the linking of the fire. The Drang Knights were once feared sellswords until treason meant descending under the abyss, and they were separated forever. Fine protection is both light and strong. We only got the armor and the gauntlets. Oh, and the shoes. I I guess they don't have a helmet. Either that or the helmet isn't isn't down there. Or it is down there and I missed it, which is entirely possible. Okay, so if y'all up here, if this congregation doesn't mind, I do have almost 30,000 souls. I I don't know where souls are stored. I was gonna say in my hand, I don't know where souls are stored. In, in my heart, in my lungs, somewhere there. So I'm just going to go past you. No, I don't care about your fireball attack. It's, it's cool and all. No one cares though. And this is an elevator. This elevator takes us somewhere. Up here, yes. To this new area with no enemies in it, thankfully. That allows us to open this big door. Which takes us back out here. Back to this bridge area down there with all the all the wandering corpses. It's not the shortest of cuts, but it's something. And if you don't mind me, I'm gonna head back to Firelink Shrine now and, uh, and spend these. Gotta work on that cardio and grow our brain too while we're at it. I like how I can skip his dialogue even though I'm not actually talking to him. Uh, no, that elevator actually won't take us to where we want to go. In fact, I think we have to go outside. Sneak 100. I don't know why, but something always dies when I go near that graveyard. <laughs> and yes, if, if an enemy dies, you're given the souls whether or not you killed it. It's just if the enemy dies at all, not whether you did it. Back in through these doors. Now let's take a look down over here. Oh, hey! Hmm. Well... You look reasonably sane. I am a knight of Katarina. I've managed to track down this cathedral's store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure. Hmm. Always so close, yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. Hmm. You must be a different knight of Katarina, then. Well, I'll, uh... 
I'll take a look right after I pick this up. Maybe this is that. The true treasure. Three dual charms. Never mind. Well, did you just hold your horses a moment? I know, I know. Treasure is so sorely tempting. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> You're right, it is. Which is why... Let's go across. This bridge is now raised. You must have done it. Thanks, buddy. Great. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. How do you lower this anywhere? There's not even a lever up there. I don't believe there's anything else down here that I want to see, so I'm probably just going to go right back up, and I'll use a homeward bone. This time, we're gonna take this elevator, hopefully to avoid that guy. So that guy was... Patches, a recurring character throughout FromSoft games, ever since Demon's Souls. He has appeared in basically every single one, including Bloodborne and Elden Ring. I don't think he's appeared in Sekiro, but I could be wrong. I know very, very little about Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, because it's so different from the from these games, and I, I feel like I'm more into these games than I am into something like Sekiro, sorry to say. Anyway, going up here takes us to a new exclusive area, and I think I'm just gonna send the elevator right back down. There we go. Make it easier in case I die here, because this area is a little bit tough. Around this edge here is a ladder we can climb up. Let's look at a nice view. You know, for us, like, muddy and gray as a lot of the areas you're in are, the distant views in this game are freaking incredible looking. Although, they too can kind of look money and gray, but this is supposed to be a dying world, so it makes sense. You drop something? I feel like I've gotten something special off of you sometimes, and- Oh yes, yes you do! Deep Ring! Allows attunement of additional spells. In the cathedral slumber, things most terrible. And as such, the deacons require a grand narrative to ensure they do not falter in their duty. A philosophy to ward away the madness beckoned and enter by the gro grotesqueries at hand. I'm assuming that's how you say that. Okay, so up to these boards is a new special little area that we can access. I think we want to run. Ooh, yeah. So we land on there and not down there. That's still incurred fall damage. Wow. And we can access this area. Oh. Someone got here before us. We can access this area. This area has some rough buddies, including the big guys with axes that swing them very bigly and do a lot of damage as they do so. I, I said swing them very bigly. Please ignore my uh, friggin' language of a four-year-old. I, I mean, I don't... I think I would have rather died there, to be honest. Let's just finish the job. <laughs> I love how, as I was falling, his, his animation started slowing down. Game's like, oh, we, we don't need to spend resources on this guy anymore. Oh, dear God, I forgot you were there. <laughs> Even though my camera wasn't facing him, my character was. So she's like, well, aren't you going to make me attack him? Oh, my souls are down. It's fine. It wasn't very much. I'm, I'm not going to get those. So, your blood stain that you drop follows after you with, like, a delay, about 5 seconds, 10 seconds. And then as soon as you die, it's basically chosen its placement. So, if I had died shortly after falling off, my god, don't do that. Then, I, I, I probably would have dropped them up here. But because I was down there for quite a while longer afterwards, taking in the, taking in the moment, they ended up dropping down there instead, which is... Wow, okay, so... Which is not ideal. So even though I was able to stagger him with every single hit while he wasn't attacking, while he was attacking, he w he was unable to be staggered. That is known as hyper armor. Certain attacks in this game, that which also applies to you for once, it's not something that only enemies have and you don't. 
I think it's like attacks with big weapons tend to have hyper armor frames where if if you get attacked during them, the attack is not interrupted, even if uh, no matter what your poise is. Are you kidding me? Okay, I guess I can come and get my souls then and then homeward bone up out of here. That's freaking... <laughs> There's no easy way back up there once you fall. The camera was trying to throw me off the edge just now. Do you see that? <laughs> you know what I foolishly haven't gone over yet? The blue sentinels covenant that we got last time. Faded sheepskin parchment depicting the dark moon and a sword. Equipped to pledge oneself to the blue sentinels. When a member of the way of blue is threatened by a dark spirit, the blue sentinels, in compliance with nature accord, assume the form of blue spirits and helped out to root out the invader. So, the Way of Blue allows you to ha summon a in additional help in the form of the Blue Sentinels. The Blue Sentinels allows you to become that help yourself. I'll equip it because in order to make the icon up in the upper left corner lo look slightly different. Actually, that, that looks pretty cool. That's a pretty cool freaking icon. Of course, since I'm offline, I won't be summoned for anyone. And also, if you're dealing with an NPC invader, no one helps you. You're on your own, sorry. I'm gonna use the Irithyll Straight Sword on this guy. Let's see if it makes uh, a bigger difference, because it, it might. Actually, uh, on my second playthrough, I was using a different weapon against these guys that was very effective. A weapon we may or may not be getting relatively soon. Find out in the next episode. Oh, that is super good. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Fucking <laughs> hell. It's like, it feels like the, the roll went Go always go slightly farther than you want it to. Hi. Go away. There's also you at the end here. Are you about to throw a dart or something? Throw a knife? A dart. Yeah, that's what you guys do. Do you have anything? No, there's just n there's nothing out here? Cool. Okay, good thing that guy on the left there didn't see us. Hi. I did not know you were there. Uh, now that I do know, I will use this to my advantage and attack you before you could possibly do anything to me. Get- Yep, um, his sword hit the wall right there. If I were an enemy, the sword would have allowed- the sword would have been allowed right through and would- would have definitely hit the dude and killed him. That's, uh, that's the level of unfairness we're playing against here. It, it's not that bad. Arbalest. That is a big crossbow that shoots big things. Yep, that's basically what it says. I have yet to really sink into ranged attacks in this game, a ranged playstyle in this game, mostly because I'm just not that interested in it. I have so much fun with melee that I, I'd rather just keep stick with this. And that's the thing with Dark Souls. I don't think I've ever said this yet, and I should say it at some point to have it be known. Another Pale Tongue, we have three of those now. Don't let me or anyone else tell you how to play this game. For my personal playstyle, I'm going with mainly melee, uh, with a s tiny spice of magic in there. Literal spice. Ha, uh, get it? Get it? And of course I'm going to be dodging instead of using shields, because that's what I have most fun with. However, it won't be the same for everyone else. If you have fun using ranged attacks or magic attacks, which do make the game a bit easier because, because it feels like the enemies were balanced more for melee players than not, if you have fun with that, go ahead and do it. D don't, like, feel bad if anyone calls you cheap or anyone at says you're not playing the game right. That's, that's bullshit. You are playing the game right. If you're having fun, you're playing the game right. Don't listen to anyone. Don't even listen to me. Okay. If I say that, like, if I say I find melee the most fun, that's because I find melee the most fun for me. But that does not, that may not apply to you, and that is perfectly okay. Oh, God. Oh god. I just- I won't be able to do that many other playstyles as we progress through this game, because of how the RPG mechanics work. Like, you know, if I wanted to do mainly magic, I need to level the hell out of intelligence and faith, but since I'm focusing on melee, I need to level the hell out of strength and dexterity instead. And if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to have access to many of the weapons I love. So this is a dude with a big great sword. I think these guys, in my experience, are easier for the most part than the the guys with the mace that we were attacking before. I'm one hand why am I one handing? It's because I was fiddling with my left hand slot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um I don't really wanna I feel like this guy's a huge attack that 
takes out a chunk of huge chunk of health, so I don't really want to risk it. I'll just heal. Um, yep. And yep. Shit, he kicks too. I didn't know that. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Down he goes. Over here is a blessed gem. Special blessed weapons gradually restore HP and heavily damage reanimated foes. So while you're holding them in your hand, your health slowly restores. And also, if a thing came back to life, I guess, or if you're fighting an undead, I'm not quite sure what that means, you do more damage. I, I, that's what I guess from the, uh, from the item description. Okay, so this, this area up here above the raptors, which by the way, we are very high above the cathedral. Just, just pointing that out now. Uh, there's an evangelist over there. Hopefully that's not a new one. There, th that blessed gem is basically the only real concrete item that's up here. So I'm going to, ooh, gotta sneak. Careful, sneak in behind this guy. I'm going to take the other entrance in. I'm not going to fight all these guys. I don't feel like it. So instead, I'm going to go after this guy who is wielding a big arbalest crossbow by default. And where do I need to... Okay, 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 here. There's a platform over here you that you can drop down to before they attack. Oh, oh god, he's following me. No. <laughs> no, I might die. I might die. No, 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 no. Heal. 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 Okay. There's a caster attacking me over there. Yeah, if you want to just stay up there and not do anything, that's fine. This big slug guy over here is casting magic spells at you. Let's take care of him. Are the knights gonna do anything about it? Nope, he fell all the way down there. Ha <laughs> ha. You. I recognize you. Huh? Y yes, hello. Oh, I don't believe we've met. I'm Patches. Unbreakable Patches. But you seem to be unkindled. Do you have business with me? You know who I am. Ah, oh, yes, of course. It's coming back to me now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand, as you know. But, but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. Regrettable, truly. But behold, I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. And look at you. Not a scratch. All's well that ends well, right? Yes, we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is. The untidy mess. <laughs> Prostration. I don't think I've ever heard that word outside of this game. Uh, not a scratch, huh? Well, I'd like to point you... I'd like to point out my Estus flask that is currently empty because of the alternate route I had to take to get over here. But other than that, yeah, I guess. Not a scratch. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Now... It wasn't me, but, but but you still deserve an apology. Just a little trinket. Go ahead. It's yours now. Wow, the rusted coin. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> you should know, I'm a kind of uh, traveling merchant. If you're as unkindled as you look, you'll find plenty of good stuff. So first you pretend to be Siegvard to trink me into going on the bridge, then you lower the bridge, forcing me to take the alternate way over here, and then you pretend that it wasn't you when it clearly was, and you know it, but unfortunately I don't have any alibis to, or anyone else, any witnesses to prove it, and now you want my money? Fine. He sells black fire bombs, red bug pellets, a uh, human pine resin, an infinite amount, alluring skulls, rusted coins, parrying dagger, shodel, spear, and he sells the Katarina set, which is um, Siegvard's armor. He also sells, I think, his own set here, the black leather set, and his shield. I think he does sell his weapons, I'm pretty sure. I want to buy this. And if you want to do all the NPC quests and stuff, you want to do the same. I'm going to need uh, some extra souls to get the armor. That'll be about it. Thanks, sweetie. Oh, fuck off. Don't, don't fucking call me that. How much does this give? <laughs> nice. Okay, um, how about one of you? <laughs> oh, great. Okay. How about, like, three of you? Yeah, that's better. All right, now I can buy the chest plate. 
Take that. He is also selling rubbish. I don't know why. Hi. Shut up. I'm gonna stop you at thanks. Next to him is the true lever that raises the bridge. Somehow he was able to lower it from that side. Sure, maybe he had a friend. Maybe he has an accomplice who who lowered the bridge for him. Probably it was probably the slug that I killed. Oh, I I got revenge on the slug. I'll leave him alive for now because he is kind of important. Uh, speaking of slugs, there's all kinds of other slug dudes over here, and I'm not, not that excited to fight them. This guy is the only one to cast spells within this room. That one at the end there actually doesn't attack you for whatever reason. Oh god, there's a lot of them. I'm going to attack you. I'm gonna one hand. Okay, doesn't... They don't deal much damage, thankfully, but... I mean, if you let them stack up, then they probably do- Oh, that's bad, that's bad. Oh god, okay, uh, no, no, let me out of this. Ow. These guys are super weak. Wonder what- what they are, what happened to them. Now, even though this guy doesn't attack you, you still want to come over and attack him anyway. Because, uh, he has a special drop. Red Sign Soapstone. I haven't been fully over this yet, but this White Sign Soapstone places uh, summon signs for online co-op. Summon to another world as a phantom through your sign and defeat the area boss to gain the strength of flame. The nature of Lothric is murky un unclear. The White Sign Soapstone allows on Kindle to assist one another. As opposed to that, the Red Sign Soapstone created a hostile red invasion sign. Be summoned to the other world as a dark spirit and defeat the host of embers to gain the strength of fire. Not all dark spirits are unsupporting, or they wouldn't make use of the soapstone. So the red-eye orbs, or the cracked red-eye orbs, are used to invade someone involuntarily. This, however, you place down a summon sign that is clearly red and dangerous and makes it clear to the host that you will attack them. But they can choose to summon you if they're interested in some PvP combat. It's a neat little feature, and I'm pretty sure the red sign soapstone still works in areas that don't have a defeated boss. I, I don't know about that. Or still works in areas that have a defeated boss. Anyway. In this room, there is a bonfire. This bonfire will not work if the guy out there that drops the soapstone is still alive. You won't be able to interact with it. It confused me for a long time until I went and killed him. Because I, I didn't kill him at first because I was like, he's a friend. Helm of Thorns. Ah, that's Longfinger Kirk's set. And you... Are some bloodborne crap. Can I join your covenant? Don't worry, this isn't like a huge permanent choice you're making. Asking to join covenant will give you the covenant items, which you can then choose to equip on your own volition. You have obtained proof of the covenant. From here, we have a couple interesting uh, things. You can offer a pale tongue. This, we'll go over this later, this just increases your trust with the covenant. But you can also use a pale tongue to either reallocate your stats as in the stats we level up, to uh, refresh them, respect yourself. If you decide you don't like your current playstyle and want to focus on something else, you can change your stats here. You can also change appearance, and I think I will uh, do this. You can only do either of these five times per playthrough, no matter how many Pale Tongues you get. I'll just hop in this briefly to show it off real quick. You're able to change everything except gender. I'm not sure why, but I didn't make the rules. I'm perfectly okay with this, though, so I'm actually just gonna cancel this. And canceling it will not use up your pale tongue. Aside from that, uh, that's, that's it for me. That's all the conversations I want to have with you, so let's rest this bonfire. Greetings, I am a mighty knight of Katarina, and using my Katarina knight senses, I can detect that someone of the same land origin is nearby. I, I... I I can't quite talk the same fancy way that Siegfried does, but I can sense that he is nearby. Somewhere. Are you him? No. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Anyone at all? Yes, it is I, a fellow knight of Katarina. Oh. Just how long has it been? It's me, Siegfried of Katarina. I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. 
Someone's swiped my armor. Did you happen to see it anywhere? Unfortunately, no. But I can gift you my own in the meantime. Rejoice! <laughs> so Patches friggin' jumped Siegvert, stole his armor, and threw him down the well. Jesus, he's just a terrible guy. Alright, let me let me put on my own ar armor again. And Siegvert, and with his armor returned to him, Siegvert can finally escape the well. It's kind of, it's kind of a weird little point in his quest, but that's, that's fine. He's kind of a weird fellow, so it suits him. Yeah, you definitely are his accomplice. Because you completely ignore him. Don't worry about it. Patches does not lower the bridge again. Once you've made it to the other side. You can now cross this bridge perfectly freely. And thank goodness for that, because this provides a much quicker way to get back to this area. That is every optional thing in Cathedral of the Deep. I know, finally. It's been, <laughs> this video has probably been about, like, an hour and 40 minutes by now. And we're just now heading to the end of the area. But don't worry, there's not much left. There's just this guy, which we can dodge right through his fireball, and... I think I might destroy some of these benches to make this easier on myself. Oh, I don't want to get too close to those guys. Don't uh, mind the game, it's just... It's having, it's having trouble processing the fact that I am actually good at the game. I'm not. That's a lie. I don't know what it takes to be good at Dark Souls. That's something that could be debated on endlessly for how freaking gatekeepy this community is. I'd say, if you can beat the game, you're good at it. Alright? You, you're able to finish the game, you're perfectly good at it. It doesn't matter how many times you die, if you beat the game, you, you did well. Good job. Alright. That was way easier than I thought it would be. Now, he is not the only Cathedral Knight that's here. Yes, there's one sitting in that bench right there to the left. There's also a hollow right here. I'll go take care of this hollow. I think that one sitting on the bench might... might wield Egg Mace? We'll find out. I'm gonna sneak up and do a strong attack on him. A very strong attack. Oh, yep, he wields a mace. Good thing I got his health down. Now, it's important to know that if he applies that, yep. That was very easy because I got the sneak attack on him. But if he applies that white magic to his uh, thing, that slowly heals him. So he's probably applying blessedness uh, to it or, or some form of it. And it actually does slowly heal him. So the longer you go without killing him from there, that point on, the uh, faster he makes a recovery. Okay, with these three killed, I believe that is everything in this little clearing, and every enemy and item, and I didn't take a single hit of damage throughout all of that. I'm proud of myself right now. Jeez, spoilers. Yeah, there's the boss. Sometimes bosses don't wait until you show up for a surprise party. Sometimes you know going in that it's a boss. For NPC summons, up here around this area, if you're Ember or are using Seek Guidance, you can find the summon signs for Henri and Horus, since they are exploring the cathedral as well. In addition, down in this hallway, to the left, you can find Cirrus's summon sign. I... Don't know if she said her name, but she was the one who appeared in Firelink Shrine, uh, I believe, last episode. And then said, yeah, hello, how's it going? Um, let's not be friends, okay? It's too much for me. And left. She can be summoned for this fight as well. Let's go. You're not who I expected to see. 
The Deacons of the Deep is a crowd of the same deacon enemies we've been fighting throughout the cathedral. One of them is glowing red, and I will make my way over to them right now. That's the one you want to attack. Once you kill them, you'll deal a bit of damage to the boss's health bar. Show at the bottom. That was rude. All right, we want to get rid of you. I recommend, if you're using a straight sword like I am, I recommend one-handing it since you swing slightly uh, further from side to side that way. When you're two-handing two like this, you don't go quite that far. It allows your horizontal swings to be better. And oh my god, that is great for this fight. Okay, so occasionally they will... Um, oh, you you decided... No, screw that guy. He ch changed his mind. All right, uh, you're in the middle there. I want to... You can slowly kill them, but they will revive themselves. Okay, that's, that's that. I'm gonna start killing them, because they're very slow to attack, and they really don't do any damage, any significant damage, anyway. Do watch out for the fireballs, though. Alright. Okay, second phase. The soul. Traveling between them is the soul of the Archdeacon, and the Archdeacon is now in true physical form. So all these guys, attacking all these guys no longer does anything. They'll prepare a spell together, unless I can go in and stop them. Interrupt it. I believe that- oh god. That spell will either shoot a giant dark orb of dark damage at you, or it'll inflict curse, which is not ideal. And I think the curse effect is like map wide. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I might die, I might die, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Let me out of here, 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 let me out of here. I cannot believe I lived. Okay, they're doing something. Uh, they're prepared. Oh, wow. I got stunned by the fireball, so I wasn't able to dodge that. Rough. Not too bad, though. Definitely one of the easier bosses in the game. If I didn't get stuck in that corner then and waste all that time, then I probably would have gotten that just fine. I would have been able to interrupt their spell. But yeah, that, that was just unfortunate occurrence. Try to have that not happen, I guess. That goes to both me and to you all, the viewers. All right, wow, look at, look at how many of them I'm hitting. And they're all so inactive as well. Might as well just kill some of them. All right. That guy over, over alone by himself. No one to protect him. Has the soul. Okay. And now it's there in the middle of them all. Killing a lot of them this time, and I think this will help. Okay, second phase time. Gonna attack the Archdeacon here at the center. I'm dealing a lot of damage. Oh god, don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Might wanna take care of these guys on the outside. I don't know why I'm being so... frugal with attacking them. Really, like, it's best to attack them. I'm gonna try to go around, get, in, get inside, get to this guy before he does some spell. Okay, they can also use force on you. That's what that is. Force that knocks you back. I don't think it does damage. Oh no. Okay, they're about to send a projectile after me. I'll actually dodge it. Why not? Okay, they're about to prepare it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, dodge that. Went, got, went right underneath the fireball. Uh, get the... Oh, god damn it. I think those blue ones around him are capable of doing that, yeah. Uh, he, oh, here he is on his own. Okay, we're doing well, doing well, doing well. Nope, nope, nope. Can't, can't risk this. Okay, watch out for fireballs. Heal. Oh, God. Going, going in to interrupt this. Nope, 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 nope. Is it still happening? Sort of. A little. It, is it? I can't really tell. Okay. I think I got my Estus Flask back. Because these guys count as regular enemies. Oh, God. No, no. No, okay, dodge forwards. I was dodging back into them. That was bad. Estus, okay. Get him. That, you know, that was just a bad idea. I went into a group of enemies. What did I expect? Okay. I'm gonna back away for this. Thanks, camera, for whipping around. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Get back in, get back in, get back in. Oh, they're healing. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Oh, they're starting curse. They're starting curse. All you guys, get get out of the way. Oh, I'm almost. They're almost dead. Yes. With the archdeacon down, they all die. More like heirs of fire destroyed. Small doll in the soul of the deacons of the deep. So yeah. It's an easy boss, and as a result, the common opinion about it is that, oh, it's not as good as the other bosses. I disagree. I am here to defend gimmick bosses, because I know that, like, when you're playing the game, compare the super challenging duels tend to be more memorable than bosses that, like, follow a gimmick and are generally easy as a result. But I really like them. It's just a crowd of people that y'all mow down with the sword. That That's really satisfying, killing them all like that, by the way. And watching out for their magic spells, and it's really fun. I will note this, however. It is definitely not Aldrich. Aldrich isn't here. Instead, we have all those guys up there that probably represent all the deacons. And then chains from the ceiling as well that represents something. There's also a light up there. It's pretty cool. Probably a skylight. Oh, item. Almost missed this. I think you have to rest at the bonfire to get this. Archdeacon, white crown, holy garb, and skirt. Of the three archdeacons of the deep, one cast off his white crown and left the cathedral to stand by Aldrich. One stood over Aldrich's casket with hope that he would return one day. And one attended to Rosaria, mother of Rebirth, whom he deemed a goddess. Can't really tell the difference between the last two, because they're both right here. Maybe the slug thing is, is the Archdeacon. That's what they became. I kind of want to put this on. Now I am the Archdeacon! <laughs> Small silverwork doll depicting a young squire. In the legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully, and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithil. Wherever you may be, Irithil is still your home. After Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley, Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral with the high priests to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley. Guess we'll have to go find him there instead. As for the others, well, I don't know, I haven't heard anything about them. By the way, have you noticed something extra on this screen? There's something new there, I don't remember there being before. Dark Sigil. Accumulates Curse. A black, gaping hole in the flesh that resembles the brand of an undead. The darkness of humanity seeps in from this bottomless pitch black hole, the gap filled by the accumulation of the curse. This Dark Sigil will never heal, but there is a tale told of a Firekeeper who returned from the Abyss, and brought great comfort to the bearer of the curse. How'd we get these? Let's go back to Firelink Shrine and find out! Alright, take this ridiculous crown off. I'll take some strength. And that's it. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, guys. Yeah, you're the same. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. And we of the stairway. Yeah. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldridge's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Found Keep, and so becomes our destination. And ours as well. Let's transpose this soul and see what we get. Oh, hang on. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I don't need that. Deep Soul. Sorcery of Archdeacon Royce and his deacons said to have been imparted to them by McDonnell of the Boreal Valley. Dark Soul Dregs. Souls which swell from the deep pursue their target, drawn towards life. Then Cleric's Candlestick. Used as both sword and catalyst, were used for worship by the deacons of the deep. The deacons, under the guidance of Archdeacon McDonnell, became both clergymen and sorcerers. Skill is Guiding Light? What is this? Candle provides temporary source of light, which reveals additional guidance. That's interesting. Oh, it's a straight sword. What the hell? 
That's interesting. I think I'll take that. Not that I plan on using it, but it's there. Oh, our champion of I would do. We are able to draw true strength once again. Then shall we begin, Bear? Yes. Vitality. Now let me check on those uh, those there dark sigils. Oh. Hmm. All right. Hey, look who's back! Oh, hello. You've come at a good time. Oh, it took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go on, have a gander. Now that we have defeated another boss, Grey Rat is done with his pillaging and has brought back for us four embers, a divine blessing, rep repair powders, six lightning urns, the Zvehander. I, I don't think the I don't think I was thinking of um I was thinking of the weird serrated sword that the one thing dropped, but I think I said this weapon on accident when I meant that one. Pontiff Knight Curved Sword, S Talk, War Pick, Glaive, Short Bow, Priest's Chime, Target Shield, Knight Shield, Pontiff Knight Shield, the Knight's Set, which is the, uh, obviously, default class of this game, which I might buy at some point, actually. Look like a knight. I'll, I'll get started on that process right now. There, I'll buy the uh, the leggings and the armor. That's what matters most to me. And the Assassin Set, and Large Arrows, and Heavy Bolts, and Sniper Bolts. This guy brought the mother load. <laughs> I'll give you the Paladin's Ashes. Well, let's see what those new wares are. They are as follows. Purple Moss Clumps, which he now sells infinite of. Undead Hunter Charms and Dual Charms. The Morning Star. The Crescent Axe. Canvas Talisman. And the Lloyd's Shield Ring that boosts damage absorption when health is full. So you can run both this and the Blue Tear Stone Ring, I guess. My notes also say she's supposed to sell yellow bug pellets, but I guess that was a lie. You're still here, sorry, I'll get you a scroll, there just was- didn't happen to be any in the cathedral. Now we do have the braille- the deep braille divine tome. But we actually don't want to give it to her. If you have in your playthrough, don't worry, you haven't screwed something up permanently. Just take care not to buy the miracles it unlocks. We won't be seeing the miracles it unlocks for a while. At some point I'm gonna want this, so let's buy a heavy soul arrow from you. Come again. Uh, then I want to give myself a boost of souls as I go around and do some upgrades. Hopefully this will be... That's not very much at all. Gonna be the same app. <laughs> okay, fine. It doesn't cost that much to upgrade stuff anyway. What I want to do is I actually want to reinforce my Pyromancy Flame with you. For some Titanite Shards. Let's get it to plus one. I, don't, I think that's enough for now, though. I've got an Estus Shard for you. That's six uses in the Estus Flask. I'm perfectly okay with that. And I can actually reinforce this Irithyll straight sword. I think I might want to start with this, though. Fire six, I have seven. Yeah, let's do it. And I I don't have the souls. Not that I need it. Uh, this this thing it reinforces with Twinkling Titanite. It can only be upgraded five times. So one upgrade is already one-fifth of the way there. This thing is friggin' powerful enough without the upgrades. So for right now, I'll wait. Today, be careful. Finally, Undead Bone Shard. As this flask plus two now heals more. And that is it for this episode of Dark Souls 3. Next time on Dark Souls 3, we head down into Farron Keep. After running some errands first. Thank you all for watching, if you did, and as always, I will see you all in the future.